Hi, in this video today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve both problems on your own and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. Cinnabar eyes is a sex link recessive characteristic in fruit flies. If female having cinnabar eyes is crossed with wild type male, what percentage of the F1 males will have cinnabar eyes? And um, let's uh, write down the genotype of the female. So uh, we told that uh, uh, it is sex link recessive characteristic and the color would be cinnabar eyes. So um, when we have a female that uh, cinnabar having uh, cinnabar eyes, that means that we have two recessive alleles, so we use um, small x, small x, so this is going to be female, and male would be uh, wild type, so it's not told here what the color, but we can assume that this would be black color of the eyes, and his genotype would be capital X, so uh, this would be dominant uh, trait and Y. So now we can find uh, the progeny of such a cross. We just have to build a Punnett square with, um, for example, uh, male on the top and female on the side. So we have male here on the top and we have a female genotype that is small x, small x here on the side. Now we can build the Punnett square and find what kind of genotypes and uh, phenotypes we would have here. So in this first cell we are going to get one small x chromosome from the mother side. So this is going to be small x chromosome and also a dominant chromosome X chromosome from the father side. So this is going to be small x and capital X. And in the next cell down we would have also one small x from the mother side and capital X from the father side. And in the next cell here we would have small x and y chromosome from the father side and small x chromosome from the mother side and Y chromosome from the father side. And this is obvious that 50% of their progeny of the male and female, we would have 50% uh, uh, of them going to be males and 50% going to be females. And here we have one recessive allele and one dominant allele. One resides on the one X chromosome from the mother side, so we can use um, red color, that would be phenotype of the mother, and for example, we can use, I cannot use black, so I would use white color for the father, and as you see, all the females of such a cross would be also um, white colored, because one X chromosome from the father uh, have one dominant allele, so here one dominant allele would be dominant over this recessive and this color we can get when we have only two small x chromosomes and as long as we have one small and one um, large uh, or one recessive and one dominant the color of all females of such a cross uh, the color of the eyes would be white and the color of the all males and as you see we have males here, X and Y chromosome, uh, and this is going to be small X, and it wouldn't be balanced with another chromosome, and Y uh, chromosome doesn't contain any uh, allele for the color, so uh, the color of the eyes in the males would be uh, coded by the recessive allele on the X chromosome, so the color of uh, eyes of all males would be cinnabar. So the answer, we are looking for 
percentage of the uh, F1 males that will have cinnabar eyes. And as you see, 100% of such a cross in males we expect to have uh, cinnabar eyes. So the correct answer would be E. Now we can move to the next uh, question. In the following list, which uh, term is least related to the others? Answer A. Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Answer B. Autosome. Answer C. Sex-linked uh, genes. D. Color blindness. And E. Hemophilia. And uh, the correct answer would be that uh, one uh, term that uh, uh, stands out of this list would be autosome because all three genetic disorders like A the chin muscular dystrophy and uh, D color blindness and E hemophilia uh, we can find only on the X chromosome so uh, we have only two sex chromosome one is X chromosome another is Y chromosome and all the rest we call autosome. So all the rest, 22 pairs of chromosomes, we call autosome. And one pair, 20 third pair, we call uh, sex chromosome. And all the genes that uh, we can find on this chromosome, uh, we call sex link genes. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.